Down to the three point line. Toll free will set up for a two. Rebound is going to be so key here today. AM on the season, third in the conference in rebounding margin at a plus seven and a half. Way behind the play of Sierra. We saw him see what's going on. But... You can see what an impact Johnson's had. Third on the team that scored second. In she has played very well for AM here over the last few games. Toll free is short, and there's Jones with another rebound. So you got to think about what kind of effect will Arkansas having played yesterday, what kind of effect will that have on a, on this from Texas a and has had that first bucket kind of like that, trying to find that rhythm. Jones with the steal, Wills the other way, and it's a great start for an Auburn team that had played the day before, and they just ran out of gas that game for long. Shot clock winding down, Thomas can't hit. Well, you wonder just about that, that gas running out of the tank for Texas A&M be able to just or, well, Arkansas be Now they've got two at the free throw line thanks to the senior Williams from Little Rock. Already four fouls called on Arkansas. Carter with the feet inside. And well, that's the thing that Gary Blair points to with this Texas A&M team to make up. When Kennedy Carter is doing what we saw, getting her teammates involved, driving, finding the better shot, not necessarily doing it herself. She can do that, doesn't go down this time, but when it's just trying to use that left foot, we hope for the best, but not a good sign as Carter pulls the trigger. And that's the outside right now for Arkansas, so they try to attack the paint with their veteran post. Well, I think that's a smart move, and you've got to keep feeding her the ball. As long as she's going to bang and be physical down low, got India Jones on her. I think she's got a little bit more weight on than she does. Starting to heat up. She's coming into this game. It depends on which Kennedy Carter you get. But when you get the right one, the one that plays within the flow of the offense, they have a pretty darn good team. Well, so far... It's a different day for Alexis Tolfrey. She is 0 for 5 from the field, 0 for 3 from the three-point line. Carter can't miss right four. You got Golden with three, and hopefully that you can build the momentum off of that shot. After missing their first nine three-point field goal attempts, one finally goes down. Williams. Fighting for it with Jones, and she was three for 14, all from outside the three-point line. Well, I think that's what Texas A&M is doing well. They've extended their zone to the three-point line. So what do you have to do? You got to find the gap inside that first line of defense. The first line up at the three-point line. The second line is protecting the basket. Go around that free throw line. Go around that SEC. Try to get some better looks. Jones with the putback. We'll go to the free. At eight points, four rebounds, was three for three against Auburn yesterday. Yeah, and Mike Neighbors cup earlier when we had them in earlier in the conference play. He said him trying to get her minutes in the game, so by the time we get to the tournament, she'll be ready to play. And they needed her today. Wells gets it back. Carter defended by the freshman. Gets the screen, and Kennedy Carter can't hit this one, but there is Wilson with the putback. No. Jones fights for it for a and and the tie-up will... When you're playing in that zone, sometimes it's hard because you start collapsing on the ball and you leave different players open. And Dan was able to get that. Oh, that's going to be a costly foul right to figure out what's working for you. And Texas A&M continues to extend their zone. The middle of the zone is always wide open. You've got to figure out how do you get the ball into the middle. Washington back to Carter. And the rebound pulled down the numbers with the three personal fouls. Well, even when Taylor Thomas was sitting on the sideline, she had two. So when you put Taylor Thomas or right. Williams in, both of them went two fouls. Thomas has to play now, and she's out there with the two. Carter defended by Kimbia. Coach Landers will be with you at halftime, post game. Pre-game all day, all day, all night here in Greenville. Carter, that's a two. During timeout, getting her shot up. Her first shot goes in. Chelsea Dungy. That's a six-point run. They're a six-oh. 
with a minute into the game. There's Carter accelerating for two. So a big spot here for the junior. Coming in, she'll have to play extended minutes with Johnson out with an injury and Jones and foul trouble. Carter, not this time. There's a real Wilson on the glass and a second chance here for the Arkansas turning that program around and they are going to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2015 and Mike gives so much of the credit to his good friend and his mentor Gary Blair for helping get him where he is right now as a head coach. Well and it's something that they continue to do they talk on a weekly basis and probably trying to figure out game plans and just talk about basketball and everything else that we hear coach maybe talking about. You see Kennedy Carter coming over to Washington I don't know if they're trying to draw something up on their own. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't know if that would be something that Gary Blair would have pulled up, but if it involves Kennedy Carter driving the lane, it's usually going to work out pretty well. Has the rebound. And both of them with three fouls. Got to be careful. Tough pass from Wilson to Carter. Carter defended by Tolfrey. <laughs> so good. And in the last seven minutes of this game, it's going to be fun to watch. Texas A&M obviously trying to advance on. They lost to Arkansas last year, so this is something that they remember. But Arkansas, after yesterday's performance. Good be a tough pass and a turnover for Arkansas. Jones for two for Chelsea Dungey here at the SEC tournament. And you think about what she did yesterday with the 23 points, and then what she did in the tournament last year, scoring 103 points in four games. But in this game, maybe it's not quantity, it's quality, and the timing of it. If Arkansas is going to come back, Carter accelerates but can't score, and batted into the hands of Arkansas. Uh, trying to call a set, trying to control the pace of the game. Inside of 90 seconds to go here in the fourth. It's Kennedy Carter time. Carter, not this time. Important one. This one right here, because you still give an opportunity for Arkansas to come down. They'll probably call a timeout depending on if Texas A&M scores. They set it up for Carter to try to get free. She throws it to Wilson, and it's out of bounds. The next foul for either side sends a team to the free throw line. Well, I think they're going to try to double Kennedy Carter right here. But they get it to Jones. Back to Wilson. Into the hands of Carter with five, with four, with three. Comes up short. Batted towards the corner. Wilson throws it up, and that does it.